Hello everyone, and welcome back to the fifth Coco programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can programmatically set up or initialize different values on your user interface. So, you guys know how to do this, uh, well, at least you kind of have an idea anyway. Uh, you can do this in the Attributes Inspector, and this will set up you know, how your program will look when it initially starts. So the Attributes Inspector is really nice in this respect. But of course, there's always some times that we want to be able to initialize values um, when we are starting a program, but we want to be able to do it programmatically, which is not using Interface Builder. So I'm going to show you how you can, um, or what kind of initialization you can use for when you're trying to attack different objects in your user interface. So if you've worked with um, Objective-C for a while, you probably are fairly familiar with the init method. Uh, if every time you create a new object, you always say alloc init. And init is where you do most of the initialization work in any Objective-C code for that class. However, if your class is more specifically an app controller, where it controls different user interface elements, init doesn't work so strongly for those instances. So, for example, uh, let's say we have our init class or our init method, and what really happens when we call init? So, init is basically the get go or the very start of when our object is created. So, when we go to when our uh, app controller is alloc initted, then nothing is set up. All that is really set up is the space that is allocated for the app controller, and that's it. Nothing else is actually created. There's no connections to the user interface, which is important. Because if we want to initialize something that's on our user interface, init doesn't cut it because nothing is connected. So we can't put initialization work for labels and stuff into our init method. So where can we do this if not in the init method? Because that's where we initialize everything. Well, when we have objects in the nib file, uh, this works really nicely. So how this kind of works is when our program starts up, um, the nib file is launched, and there's a bunch of different things that go on. But essentially, every object that's on our bench here will be um, initted, alloc initted, and in that form, it will have to also be connected to every object that's inside our user interface. So our app controller has to connect to all the elements that it said it was in our interface builder when we're creating it. So those connections aren't made kind of to the end. Once all the other initialization work is done for the class, then the connections are made. So the method that gets sent, or I should say the, mes the message that gets sent to our app controller when all these connections are made is awake from nib. And awake from nib is where we can do all this nice initialization work. So basically, awake, yeah, awake from nib works like this. So it's just void awake from nib, and again, awake from nib is sent to the, the object whenever uh, all the initialization or the, the code is connected to our user interface. So whenever all the connections are made, such as our IB outlets and IB actions, then we're set to go and awake from nib is essentially called on our app controller. So now this is where we want to do all the nice initialization work for the things that you see on screen. So let's start with our label, because that's really the only outlet we have for this. And for a label, we want to set the font. So to do this, there's a nice method called set font, and it just takes an NS font object. So we can just say NS font, font with name, and the name we're just going to be Herculanum, and make sure I spell that right. And the size, I'm just going to make 15, nothing too outrageous. It's basically kind of the size that it is already. So um, that's great. Let's just see how this works. So let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, just scroll in a bit here, we can see that our label is now Herculaneum and size 15 text, or size 15 font. And as you can see, the text uh, stays the same font when we change the label as well. 
So that's great, and we can quit that now. So as you can see, this awake from nib is working perfectly. Now let's try this in the init method just to prove that this won't work. So we're just going to make our init, and we're going to return self, oops, self. And I know this is a bad init method, but um, just that's what we're going to do. So um, init, and this is just to show you that init method, the init method will not work for trying to initialize different on-screen objects. So let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, our label is still the boring old font that it started with, and it doesn't ever change. And again, like I said before, the init method will not cut uh, this kind of initialization work because it just doesn't cover uh, the connections that are made. It is only good for objects that are created inside our nib at that time. So init uh, has its purpose, of course, but it's not for... Uh, this kind of initialization of the user interface elements. So let's just put that back in here. And now let's say we want to change something else. Let's say we want to change the text color. So we'll say label set text color. It takes an NS color object. So we can say NS color and we want to make red color. So now we can run this and we'll see that we get a nice label that's Herculaneum, and also in red. That's pretty cool. And it'll stay red all program long. So now we can also change a few other things. We can change what's known as the background color. And to do this, all we have to say is set background color. And again, it takes an NS color object. So we can say NS color. And we just want to say, oops, I'm missing a square bracket and this color and we just want to make this a blue color and now um, if I'm just gonna go ahead and run this and you'll see that the background color doesn't actually change and the reason for this is that it's actually um, turned off by default so to turn it on um, we've already set the color but we actually want to turn the background color on so to do this all we have to say is label set uh, set draw, draws background, and there we go, we just want to set it to yes, it's just a boolean, yes or no, so if we didn't want it, we could say no, but it's already no by default. So now that we've set the draws background to yes, now it'll draw the background in, and as you can see, we get this kind of blue text, or blue color that just runs the length of the label. Kind of ugly, but I'm just showing you uh, different things that you can do. So another thing that we can do here is set the text to be selectable. So we can say set uh, set selectable, and now it's a boolean, so we're just going to set it to yes. And we can go ahead and run this, and now you'll see that we can actually select this label, which is pretty nice. So now we can go ahead and copy and paste this if we want and that's the nice thing about being selectable and we don't have to worry about any extra code for copying and pasting it's just a system-wide default so um, once text is selectable we can copy and paste it and here we go we just pasted our thing that we just copied from the label so there you go um, that's just how you can do some simple initialization work inside awake from nib and again this is called whenever all the connections are created with our controller object or the object that we have in our nib file which is our app controller so once all the connections are made app awake from nib is called and we can set up any uh, or we can do any initialization work that we need to or that we want to for our app controller or for our interface so anyway that was pretty much uh, all I had to show you for this tutorial it was just basic in initialization work for the class or our user interface and in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to kind of rearrange your uh, interface or just keep it so that it won't um, basically be changed when it is moved around. So just as a quick example here, if we go ahead and run our program, and I guess I'm already running it, let's build and run it again. If I go to adjust this window, you'll see something weird that happens, and you'll see that all the user interface objects just kind of stick to the spot that they're in. 
So our label just kind of stays there and our button just sort of sits there. And we don't really want this. We want these objects to move around or uh, do something when we readjust this window. And as you can see, when we go too small, you know, nothing happens to the text. So obviously, uh, we'd like to change this because if the user readjusts the window, then we'd like to readjust some of the elements on screen as well. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can adjust the objects that you have in your window as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was pretty short, but I just thought I'd get away or just um, get out awake from nib, which is a handy dandy way of initializing some values on your user interface. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next tutorial as well. And if you have any questions, um, I just should say this before I let you go, just leave your questions in the comments below and please subscribe to the channel. All right, I'll see you next tutorial.